start tonight in Abilene. Like many cities across the country, the city of Abilene says inflation's hitting the city where it hurts, and they're being forced to make some difficult decisions when it comes to the 2025 budget. K-Texas reporter Karina Hollingsworth spoke with Mayor Weldon Hurt about the difficult decisions. She joins us live from City Hall. Mayor Hurd says one of the reasons for budget cuts is the city has not received what they anticipated in sales taxes. He says it's almost impossible to predict spending trends, but he encourages everyone not to panic. What we didn't think about was people are still spending their their spendable income, okay, but it's going more on commodities and things like that. And we don't make sales tax off commodities, groceries, things like that. So people are still spending the same amount of money. But what, where our sales tax base came from, a lot of that money's gone away. City Manager Robert Hanna told City Council last month sales tax saw a significant drop. Last month was down over 5%. I think it was closer to 7%. It was, it was a big number. Mm -hmm. Mayor Hurd says normally the city of Abilene anticipates receiving approximately $4 million each month from sales taxes. He says a 7% decrease is a substantial amount. This month we're actually flat, which means it didn't go up, but it's nowhere close to the budgeted amount either. So, and that's what we're hoping for is for inflation to settle and that our sales tax can be flat. That helps us predict on our budget a little bit easier. The mayor says the decrease in sales taxes has forced the city of Abilene to make difficult decisions, like cutting 13 full-time equivalent city employees, which amounts to approximately 30 employees. So an FTE is a full-time equivalent is if you you have like a part-time person would be a 0.5 FTE, right? And a full-time position would be one. But uh, all of those, there's open positions in the city that are, are not frozen that they can be moved to. In the closing of last Thursday's city council meeting, Hannah said the last thing to be cut will be police officers and firefighters. Mayor Hurt assures everyone that they have not reached that point yet. I, I think what he was talking about was kind of a tongue-in-cheek deal, uh, basically saying that we have to make cuts because essential services come first. We have to have water. We have to have sewer. If we, have, if we don't have water and sewer, we can't have a fire department. We can't have a police department. It's a hard decision, and how it's going to work out, I don't know. I hope, I hope we don't get there. The full city council meeting discussing the budget cuts can be seen on our website at ktxs.com. Live in Abilene, I'm Karina Hollingsworth, KTexas News.